The design of the Seahorse Kontiki has been developed to allow the seahorse to self-steer on its fishing journey, but the success of the trip is dependent on the launch. It's best to assess the conditions before launching to work out where the currents are flowing and what the surf is doing. Firstly, next to the shore, there may be a rip along the beach. This is the water from the surf moving along the shore to one of the channels that then flow out to sea. These channels can be great to fish. These inshore rips can be up to 50 to 100 metres wide. Secondly, there are the offshore currents. These are normally created by tides and the wind. Check the local navigation charts for the tidal movements and any large local harbours will affect these currents. Also, the internet is a great source of weather and surf forecasts and these can help you assess what the conditions are likely to be. The first thing to do is to loop the strop through the carabiner. This is done by removing the carabiner from the seahorse and then looping the strop through the center of the carabiner and over the top. The strop will then pull tight into a half hitch on the carabiner. Reconnect the carabiner to the tow point. Also, remove the D-pin from the winch and clip onto the winch frame and drop the drag rubber onto the drum. Once the course is set and the four lights are showing on the autopilot control, carry the GPS seahorse out to at least knee-deep water and launch forward into an oncoming wave. It's best to allow the GPS seahorse to run without too much drag on the winch as the extra speed improves the steering. If there is a strong current flowing, then it's best to set the GPS seahorse course slightly into the current and you will end up with a better set. Also, launching it up current from the winch will also help. The standard seahorse takes a little more thought before launching. The standard seahorse is designed with the motor in the front to pull away from the drag of the line attached to the back. So if you can get the standard seahorse pointing into the current and the line bowing back down current from the Kontiki, you will have a more successful set. If there is a rip along the beach, it's best to take the standard seahorse up current from the winch and launch the Kontiki with a slight angle into the current. This will allow a bow to automatically develop down current from the Kontiki, which will assist in steering it in the right direction. If the standard seahorse is not going in the desired direction, then by holding the line you can pull the back around until it is pointing in the right direction. If the launch goes completely wrong, then winch the standard seahorse back in and try again. With practice, you will get quite good spotting the currents and calculating the correct launch angle. The standard seahorse also has a rudder on the front, which can be used to help steer the standard seahorse in the direction you want. The rudder has more effect in close, the drag of the line has more when further out. The rudder turns in the direction you want the Kontiki to turn, just like the front wheel on a bike. If launching through big surf, each time the seahorse punches through a wave, it can get carried back towards the beach by the force of the wave. If this is happening, keep the line tight by pulling back any slack line, and this will help by giving the motor something to work against, and the seahorse should stay straight.